Laura, it sounds like this so-called Elon mode is a kind of cheat code that will disable a warning system that pops up on your Tesla if, when you're in autopilot, you take your hands off the wheel for an extended period. That's right, Tyler. So we've written about Elon mode before. That's a nickname for it. It's not what it's called in the code base. Um, this is a server-side configuration, so Tesla would have to, you know, set it and, and allow select drivers to uh, access this, but it effectively bypasses the what's called the autopilot nag. It's this, you know, uh, First, you'll see a display on the screen that tells you to, you know, put your hands on the wheel, pay attention to the road. And if, if you kind of keep your hands off the wheel for too long, that'll escalate to a beep, and eventually it can lock you out of the more advanced features so that are part do, of autopilot and FSD. How do drivers who want this uh, cheat code get it? Well, that's part of what NITS is looking for. They want answers about how many drivers have been given access to this. You know, was it really just for, like, one executive, or how widespread was its use? And, you know, Tesla sort of wants to have its cake and eat it, too, when it comes to self-driving. The brand names they give for these things make it sound like their cars are autonomous, and then they tell regulators, and in the fine print, they say, this is a level two system. You have to keep your hands on the wheel at all times. Phil, what have you heard about this uh, so-called Elon mode and, and whether uh, Tesla could, could be sanctioned somehow uh, for allowing something that on its face sounds like it might be outside of the boundaries of what um, the federal regulators would allow? Sure, they could be sanctioned. It's reasonable to assume that the regulators, if they determine that Tesla has set this and they've allowed X number of people uh, to use the quote-unquote Elon mode, it's feasible to, th to assume that the regulators will say, shut it down. Mm -hmm. you, you know, this mm -hmm. is not allowed. Uh, cheat codes are, not, are, are frowned upon by all regulators, and certainly I'm sure NHTSA would not look kindly on this. So it remains to be seen exactly what NHTSA ultimately does as they do this investigation here. And part of that depends on how widespread it is in terms of people understanding how to access this code. Do we, do, yeah, uh, Laura, uh, uh, asking for a friend, uh, <laughs> how, how, how widely used do we think these cheat codes are? Is that a few hundred people, a few thousand, what? We don't have the numbers, and that, again, uh, Tesla actually sought confidential treatment for their response to NHTSA about this, which is interesting to me. I mean, uh, but it's the, the special order that the regulators sent to Tesla was written in a broad way. They, they didn't specify Elon mode only, mm -hmm. but anything that allows, you know, drivers in, in the configurations to bypass those autopilot nags, they wanted to know about it. Right. I suspect we'll find out numbers later. We have to leave it there. Laura Kolodny, thank you very much. Phil LeBeau, as always, great to see you.